It is Vlogmas day 23. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica and for today's video, I will be reviewing the new shades from Revlon Lipsticks. These are new shades that Revlon just came out with. These are oldie but goodies lipstick, like the packaging, but they are new shades. So I'm really excited to be reviewing them for today. So if you want to know if I recommend these or not, then just keep on watching. I seriously can't believe that my Vlogmas series is almost over. I have been loving doing Vlogmas. I know that I am very behind on my uploads just because life got crazy and soon you will know why that is. I'm so excited to be sharing this news with you all, but I'm very excited to be done with Vlogmas, even though I've loved doing it so that I can continue with my regular uploads every single day as just regular. And for New Year's content, that would be amazing. I'm planning on doing like my vision board and what my goals are and then sharing an exciting news with you all. So Anyway, stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you're notified of the exciting news that I'll be sharing with you all very soon. So let's get into the video now. All right, so I got these from my local Ulta Beauty and I saw them displayed in the section where they have new makeup for drugstores specifically and I got really excited because I love Revlon lipsticks. They are my favorite lipsticks for drugstore and they're super affordable and they are amazing lipsticks. I actually got hooked on these from my mom. Growing up, my mom always wore Revlon lipsticks and she still does to this day and I stole the one of Toast of New York. It's an oldie but a goodie here on my YouTube channel. I love that shade so much. I use it every single day for work and I'm obsessed with it. And so when I saw that there were new shades, I got really excited. So they have mattes as well as cream lipsticks and then also pearl, which I'm not really sure what that means, but basically not mattes. And they're very comfortable on the lips and I love all of my Revlon lipsticks that I do have and so I went ahead and got three of them I'm kind of confused because this one which is secret club it says nude on the sticker and then these two don't but they were still in the section for new makeup in the same container and they were displayed right next to each other so I'm not sure if they're still new or not but it's okay I'll go ahead and review it since to me they're new and let's go ahead and start with this one which I'm kind of excited about it's a shade that I've never tried before I don't wear any nudes or pale colors I definitely like more pinkier shades or like shades that are, are like a watermelon shade. I love the look of that like bright, a little bit of red and like a little bit of cherry. I don't know. I'm weird like that. And this one is a pearl 025 Skyline Pink. Let me open it up and let me show it to you guys first. So that is what the lipstick looks like. Let's go ahead and swatch it. So it's a really light shade. I honestly thought that I would look like neon pale. Like I don't even know what this shade would have been. But I actually kind of like it. It literally looks like I have nothing on my lips with a little bit of shine which is really cool. I would definitely top it with a lip gloss though, but by itself, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it looks like I have nothing on my lips with a little bit of shine or a little bit of glitter, you know, a little bit of something, <laughs> but yeah, of course, these lipsticks are always very comfortable on, and so let's go ahead and swatch the next one, and of course, can we just give a little bit of spotlight to my little Zoe right here. She is always very tired. I don't know why. She's either very tired or she's up and around playing with everything in her sight. But she loves that spot at the edge of my bed because I will open my blinds and 
the sun hits right there and so she loves to sunbathe because I'm guessing because of these days that it has been more cold she loves to sunbathe and be a little bit more warm but I have them shut off because I'm filming a video so I have it halfway open which is why you can see the sun a little bit but definitely not on my face so once I'm done with this video I'll go ahead and open them all the way so that Zoe can have a little bit of sunlight since it makes her very happy. By the way, I always used to remove my lip gloss or lipstick with just a regular paper towel, which was very painful on my lips. And I'm like, why would I do that with my life? So now I just get a makeup remover and remove the color, which is really beneficial. Okay, I just took off the color for that, and the next one I wanted to swatch is the Cream 766 Secret Club. And it looks like this. Very pretty, like a mauve shade, you know? Let's go ahead and try it out. Very pretty. So that is one swatch on my lips. I really like it. It's like a mauve yet like a berry and like a pink shade. It's very pretty, very spring and like winter appropriate. I really like this shade. By the way, this is honestly how I wear my lipsticks. I don't layer it with anything. I don't put like a lip liner or like a lip gloss sometimes. I just wear it as it is. I enjoy lipstick and especially with Revlon, it's very comfortable on the lips all the time and really moisturizing. So I love this shade. All right, so the last shade that I will be trying out is the Pearl 619 Rose and Shine. Oh, I love that, 619. It's the area code for San Diego, in case you didn't know that, which is where I'm from. So let's go ahead and try it out. I can't really see anything. I'm kind of confused because I did make sure that I took all of the residue from the last lipstick. But I don't really see like a big difference. I thought that this shade was definitely going to be a lot darker. But I guess not. Yeah, it's not super dramatic. Which I guess it could be a good thing if that's what you are looking for. It's really shiny though really pretty so I guess it gives it just like a natural lip color almost looks like the natural color of my lip honestly so I mean it looks fine I wouldn't wear it by itself unless I was doing like a no makeup makeup look even though I am wearing makeup technically I would for sure top it with the lip gloss to add a little something to it but yeah that's all I have to say, really. So I guess the Skyline Pink and Rose and Shine are really subtle colors. They're really natural to, I guess, any lip color, really. It just makes it look like you have just a little something on the lips, not to go completely like naked on the lips. So, I mean, they're beautiful shades. I just thought that it would be a little more dramatic. But I guess that is a good thing if that's what you are looking for. But me personally, if I'm wearing lipstick, I like it for a color to be more vibrant or more pigmented, if that makes sense. So, these are definitely shades that are really subtle and very little of color. And this one... The one that I was wearing last time, which is the Secret Club, is 
my favorite shade out of all the three of them and so my final thoughts are yes i do recommend revlon lipsticks they are the best lipsticks in the entire drugstore i love them love them love them so much so i do recommend them they are very affordable and i love the shades that i do have so just keep what I said about these in mind. And who knows, maybe on you and your skin tone, they will look a lot more dramatic and you will love it. Or maybe they won't be as dramatic, but that's what you're looking for. So yeah, everybody's skin is completely different. And of course, what you like and what you're interested in is completely different from me. So yeah, overall, I do recommend them. The price point is on point and... Yeah, let me know if you try them out and if you love them. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell so that you are notified every single time that I upload. And give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed it. And leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite lip products are from the drugstore so that i can definitely try them out and i will see you all in tomorrow's video bye guys